Now, a lot of people have been saying Kanye broke the internet, so I don't want to use the word broke. I'm just going to say Kanye pushed the internet from behind and slightly jerked its neck a couple of days ago. And then what he said, I think there are lessons for the Indian community here as well. So let's talk about those lessons. My name is Sham Sharma. Welcome to the Sham Sharma Show. Hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome to another edition of the Sham Sharma Show. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. All right, just a quick little thing, guys. If you are subscribed to the channel, or if you do enjoy today's video, and if you do decide to subscribe, first of all, thank you. And secondly, just make sure to press that bell icon next to the subscribe button as well, because that's the only way sometimes YouTube notifies you if a new video of mine comes out. So if you would like to, uh, you know, watch a new video when it drops, please make sure to press that bell icon. Okay, so essentially a couple of days ago, uh, Kanye West caused a bit of a uproar, let's say, when he tweeted out that he likes the way Kanye Candace Owens thinks. Now, Candace Owens is a rising conservative voice, and she happens to be black as well. Whoa, what? And then he essentially also said that, you know, people should not be part of a group think, especially the black community doesn't need to be part of a group think, and they can think for themselves. And he also said that people demonize people, and then they demonize anybody who sees anything positive as someone who has been demonized. The thought police wants to suppress freedom of thought. Free thinkers don't fear retaliation for your thoughts. The traditional thinkers are only using thoughts and words, but they are in a mental prison. You are free. You've already won. Feel energized. Move in love and not fear. Be afraid of nothing. You know, essentially he's saying that it's okay to disagree with people and it's okay to not see eye to eye with people. But at the end of the day, make sure to love and at least respect the people that you don't see eye to eye with because that is the only way that a conversation or a social discourse can move forward and you know if you think about it if you're an indian if you, and if you're anybody generally who's actually even you know remotely aware of what the theory of vedanta is and that's essentially what it is is that you know there's that divinity in everyone so you need to show that love and respect to other people as well even if you don't see eye to eye with them now, again i'm not saying that kanye west is talking about the theory of vedanta or he's espousing vedanta or he's some incredibly great thinker of our time all i am saying is that there is a point to what he said i think indians particularly dharmic cultures you know like hinduism sikhism and the like they are unique and they don't need to be part of some group think and they don't need to tie their wagon to this intersectional victimhood brigade you know the the recent apu controversy and i did a video about this if you want to check that out as well it's going to be floating around right here so the apu controversy is a great example of this as well you know so many indians and hindus that are in the public eye and that are celebrities and intellectuals and stuff like that they jumped on this whole bandwagon about how this is horrible and you know we're victims and we shouldn't be made fun of we shouldn't be portrayed in a stereotypical manner Manner in a show that only deals in stereotypes and look i'm not trying to take away from indians experiences you know were we victims in the past maybe yes definitely are we victims today i don't think so just because we have been victimized in the past doesn't mean that we're victims today and look again i understand that you know there are some indians particularly that moved here when they were young or what they were brought up here when they were young they were bullied and they were called a poo and stuff like that but any immigrant group that moved to the west or that moved anywhere for that matter they do go through that phase where they're bullied it happened to italians it happened to polish people irish people you can think of so many groups that it has happened to now, Indians, again, particularly Indians who were raised in the West, tend to think that it is only the left that truly cares for them. And there is some aspect of truth to that. I think the left has a large number of progressive-minded people that have helped usher in some of the big social changes that have happened here as well. So credit where credit is due first and foremost. I, I cannot stress enough how important these people are to any country. And I realize their importance and I'm thankful for those people to exist as well. At the same time, we also have to realize that there are scholars, that there are intellectuals, that there are media personalities, and there's so many people in the left that act like they care about Hindus and Indians here in the West. But then the same people turn around look at Hindus in India and tell them that their culture is oppressive and that their culture is evil. I've done videos of two such intellectuals in my anti-Hindu bias in academia series as well, so I would recommend you go check that out too. A little shameless plug there. 
So at the same time, we also need to be wary of these postmodernists and these radical leftists. At the same time, having said that, you know, I'm also not saying that the right is completely scot-free and there's the right tends to have some people, not everybody again, but the right tends to have a section within it, a loud vociferous section within it that tends to see Hindus as these lost souls, these heathens that need to be converted and that need to be brought into the fold. Again, and, and then we need to be careful of these soul harvesters as well. And we can chart our own unique path and our own unique trajectory. I honestly feel that if the right can let go or at least put it in the back seat, the, the whole obsession with soul harvesting and the obsession with the whole you need Jesus thing, it, it can be really helpful for them to then reach out to the Hindus and the Indians in general because otherwise you're alienating a massive base that is just there for the taking for you. I think if you get rid of that mentality then Republicans and Hindus can actually make a really good fit in a lot of cases because a lot of Republican values I think a lot of values of the right resonate with a lot of Hindus and if you can just get rid of that obsession then you can see yourself attracting a lot more Hindus. Again I'm not saying that all Hindus need to vote Republican as well I don't think we need to be a block. What I am saying is that we need to start thinking for ourselves what I am saying that we don't need to be in this group thing and what I am saying is that we need to unhitch our wagon from this intersectional brigade. The problem that has happened with this intersectional bandwagon is that they will tell you that they care about you only as long as you echo exactly what they want you to say. If you say something different, then you're ostracized, then you're the worst person possible. Like I said, we are different, we are unique. Indians are pretty much an embodiment of what a model immigrant is is or should be, whether it be in America or any other country in the West. Again, I've talked about why in that Apu video that you should definitely go check out as well. So we are unique. Let us be unique. Let us take our destiny into our own hands. We don't all need to be associated with the West. We can think for ourselves and we can associate ourselves with a different way of thinking. All right, guys, let me know what you think of this. Do you think that there is a bit too much groupthink among at least liberal Indians and a lot of Indians that are raised in, in the US? Let me know if you disagree with something that I said. Let me know if you agree with something that I said. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd love to have a conversation about this. So please let me know your thoughts. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching today's show. I will see you again. If you enjoyed today's episode, please make sure to give this episode a thumbs up please give it a like if you enjoyed today's episode as well and if you enjoy what we do here on the sham sharma show please make sure to subscribe to the channel down below as well and make sure to press that bell icon so you get notified as soon as a new video from the show drops again thank you very much for watching today guys i will see you again for the next episode and until then stay happy stay healthy and i'll see you soon